<laughs> Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my evil page in which I try to talk about common sense. And I try to keep it down under the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. And if it goes over 10 minutes, it is something very, there is something very, very, very important that I have to say. Okay, you know, I know about the transcript that they're reading my words, okay, but if they see it, then I don't want to be it. I, if they see something that I said that can be taken out of context, okay, which without breaking their policy, then so be it. It's YouTube. I'm also on Rumble and MeWe and fucking Signal. I don't care, okay, you know, but other than that, everyone creates multiple channels and different revenues of income streams everywhere i got my own on the side i don't do, this is therapeutic to me guys i remember when i first came out in 2012 and i was like hello to you werewolves bats aliens and shapeshifters and because they know who i'm talking to and most of you are not those things you're not most of you are not werewolves shapeshifters bats so you're you're moguls. You don't have any magical powers. You have none, okay, whatsoever. But since I'm schizo, that could scare you off. That means people who have special abilities, you should just stay clear of them. Just stay away from them, okay? All right? Okay, so now since I got most of you off, I didn't say my intro correctly. But you should know me by now, okay? Because I go through a different method of my madness, okay? All right? Please read my credentials down below. You know how to find me. Um... Other than that, um, I like to be myself because I'm a sindri. I don't, <laughs> I'm real alpha. I don't do that crazy shit that everybody else does. Wearing a mask and shit, trying to appease the masses of asses. I don't do that. That's not me. I appease the small and the very few. I do not appease the masses. Now, if I say fuck you and some kind of, that triggers you, or if you get upset, okay, or you, my voice is too condescending, you, this video, these videos are not for you. You're religious. You're sensitive. You're sticking them up. You don't like asking questions. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. Because you're uneducated and you're too sensitive for my types and my species. Now, let's go on with the video today. Today's topic will be about um, high quality women versus immature girls. Okay. And how they choose men. Okay. How they choose men. This is what they told me from a horse's mouth because I know a lot of you guys would try to copy. Because I've talked to hundreds of people in my life, women especially, because I used to be an ex-fetish gigoloer. I am a porn star. Not a porn star, but I create my own porn and shit. I am on OnlyFans, okay? I am one of the rare males that have these things, which I know is not selling that much. I don't really care about that. It's just the idea, man. The idea, okay? It's the idea. It's innovative. Now, from my experiences, from my past, anecdotally wise... From over the hundreds of women I talked to, and it's still to this day, most women who are mature, okay, are not going to be in any form of developed country. All right, so we got that out of the way. Most women in developed countries, such as the United States and European countries, Canada, most of them don't, they won't know how to be mature because they are lacking one element in their life, and that's an alpha father, which most of you guys haven't even heard of yourself. But you may think you had an alpha father. But how they choose men is predominantly very simple. Looks is first. We should know this. They love beta alpha males who look really good. They're fuckboys, eight, nines, and tens, okay? And they, they fo if, if your looks, if their looks is not even near halfway, you got you better have some money. These are the immature girls. They fit everything. Okay, even if you have good looks, even if you have money, what deep what to satisfy an immature female is that your cock better be huge because they've already learned about what romance is through social media. They love huge cocks, especially black ones, because that's why blacks are not extinct, okay? And um <laughs> it's factually. It's true. Lots of we we black people. I'm black, but I'm not truly African. African, obviously, I'm not. No one is truly Caucasian, and no one is truly black, okay, or African. 
Check your DNA structure. Check your fucking D your genetics, okay? Then you'll understand how I'm saying it's true. Everybody's mixed with some other race other than their own. All right? So women and immature women, as I said before, will gravitate towards the 80, the 25% of beta beta alpha males out there who's who's just focused on attraction and beauty eight nines and tens i am a seven by the way so if you want to know my number i am a seven because the reason why i'm a seven is because they say i'm not tall enough one the mole and my teeth used to be really fucked up so i was really like a four to a lot of females in the past four or five because my teeth was really fucked up but that that my teeth being fucked up caused me not to get any pussy and lots of rejections but then i said okay lucky for me they wasn't fixed okay but i did get them fixed but i'm not looking for boo use use vaginas anyway because they stink and i'm, I'm a gynecologist because you i told you, you don't know my past history but i may sound uneducated to some individuals imbeciles on here but it's not the case. That's not the case of what I saw. Okay, look into my eyes of what I know. Okay, it's not. <laughs> what I know will blow your fucking mind on me being the anecdotal gynecologist. Okay, all right. Okay, but we're not going to talk about that. When women see men who are immature, okay, they will focus and gravitate since they didn't have an alpha father, like most of you have not had alpha fathers. You want to know what an alpha father is. In short, he's a very strict and stern man. Okay, Black or white, it doesn't matter. He's strict, overprotective. He does everything by the book. He's fun. He's, he's a balance of everything. So you can't even point anything wrong that he, this man does. If he's over controlling, he makes up for it for something else because he understands himself. Now, if he's too much overbearing in some kind of other way, that's a different type of alpha. Okay, He may be too... Uh, you know, strict about something, maybe for a good reason, okay? He probably have told you. But when women haven't had, or guys in particular too, you beta males out there who haven't had an alpha father, women, I'm talking about women, immature women will choose men based off of what their girlfriends say, attraction, appearances, and money. It's that simple. That's most women. That's most women in developed countries. Now, I'm keeping it short here because I don't want to give out all my valuable pearls, right? But mature women are outside of the country. Okay, so this is the key element. Most mature women are outside of the United States, guys. Not in clubs or anywhere to dance and shake their booty and, and show off their good, their wear, okay? Because the fathers will not permit it, okay? Because I would not permit my daughters to go outside looking like trash. Or they belong to the streets, okay? But mature women understand what discipline is. Mature women are poor, okay? They're conserved. They're reserved. They don't want to get raped. Okay? They don't want a guy who's basically down into socializing, okay? Because socializing is an immature construct for most people. Because they have to socialize so a mature female reserve female will be more in a poor country more poor condition more reserved learned by her father okay and a mature female will have her father but let me tell you a catch 22 with that though <clears throat> before, I'm gonna, before i finish okay so let's we're talking about mature females they're raised by their fathers they listen to their fathers they're likely to highly likely to be virgins okay unless they have been raped Without the father's permission, they're going out beside, but behind their father's backs or whatever. <clears throat> um, other than that, okay, in a nutshell, that is what a mature female, what I've been told, okay, and taught, and what I experienced and learned, okay. So, since we got the mature women out the way, what else is there to say about mature women versus immature women? Immature women choose because of what? Three things. Looks, money, and the girlfriends. Okay? And mature women, Im immature women choose those guys for these reasons. But the mature guy, women will say, be yourself. <clears throat> have discipline in your life. And have focus. But also, understand this. Immature women only believe in monogamy. Mature women believe in polygyny. 
See, I know that's a, that's a hard pill to swallow. But how do I know this? Because I've lived in Africa, goddammit. Women, the women who believe in the Muslim traditions, they know that polygyny breeds power, okay? And construct. But the immature female are selfish, okay? They only think about one-on-one. -on -one. They think about marriage, okay? To one so-called artificial, superficial, high-value man, which a lot of you guys don't understand. You shouldn't be focused on that. That's not your goal, to be an alpha, to be a high-value man. There's two ways of being a high-value man. Without money, with money. When you have money, you have to give that money to be a higher-value man. You have to focus on your health. Health before wealth. Which one? The high value man will say, the true high value man will say health. Your health will get better with wealth, but still you should be focused on your health before the wealth. Correct? So if you're a fatty man or a fatty patty female, <laughs> your high value is gone if you ain't even focused on your health. You don't have a value <clears throat> to me. <laughs> I said to me, now, if you want to get your health in shape without no money and no food, I'm the one to go. I'm the one who's going to help you there. No money, no food, right? Live free or die trying. You never heard of that before? I made a video about it. Go check it. Go find it. Okay, I'm not saying to take advantage of things in a negative way, okay, like a lot of women do, but I'm trying to say be wise, through trial and error and suffering. That's where your pure heart comes out. That's where your magic comes out at. Women don't do that. Women don't read the Bible. Immature women will always say they're Christians, but they're not today. Mature women will understand what polygyny is about. They know what their father said. Okay, They will obey their father because they know that if the Lord came down right now in this world, 80% of you would be gone. You'll be destroyed. The Bible says it, that most will fall. The Bible says it. The Quran says it. Most will fall. They'll care and say, Lord, Lord, we have prayed in your name. So, no, no, no. Are you rich? You make over a certain amount of money? You could have helped out this person. God is going to spite you. He's going to get rid of you. But people don't understand that God is the devil. That's a dangerous thing for most of you motherfuckers out there. Y'all don't know God is the devil and the devil is God. Y'all don't know that? You don't know you're in a, a, a state of mind of a matrix? Y'all don't know that yet? Y'all are not self-aware. Y'all are not woke. We are still thinking about race when people don't understand what reincarnation is. Wow, that's fucked up. Oh, you can't say you're black, but then you're actually white on the inside because of your past life. But you don't talk about that. But I digress here. Well, I don't get off the subject, man. I've been talking for like 13 minutes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Immature women ruin the world. They cause the biggest wars. You never heard of that either. Confucius, Confucius said this. Confucius. Socrates said this. Yeah. And he's the wisest of all philosophers. He is said to be the wisest. You guys got to wake up. So mature women are harder to find. They're the high hanging fruit that most of you guys can't reach because you lack the knowledge look at my past videos of me traveling you don't see them videos okay so now we understand what women the catch-22 with both of these type of females is that if you go to another country and you take her out of her element to truly know someone you must test them i brought my wife from ethiopia she was a virgin yes she was and she bled like crazy she had her hymen and everything uh, I, I'm not afraid of the giants, okay? I, my, her father was a giant, okay? I go right in Pentonis house because I know magic. I know knowledge. He doesn't have that knowledge. I don't have to worry about nothing. My magic was happening real quick over there. I'm not a mystic. I make shit happen, okay? All right? So I go over there, and I didn't want to bring her back. So my Holy Spirit told me, you got to come back. So just because you found a mature female, she may be wearing a mask. This is the problem. You cannot read a woman who's wearing a mask. And no matter how you treat them, 
They can still betray you. So you got to be very careful. Look what happened to Jesus. Look what happened to Samson, okay? And Delilah in the Bible, okay? Lots of powerful men has been fallen. But you will not have to fall for it. King Solomon is the only one who didn't fall for it. King Solomon is the wisest man of all. And is right next to Socrates, okay? You know, the difference between King Solomon the Great and also some Socrates is that Socrates asks questions to destroy you. But King Solomon, okay, had the knowledge to control demons. Now, that's a whole new ball game. okay? We not even as apples and oranges, right? But they're the wisest in the world today. Socrates and Solomon, King Solomon the Great. Because King Solomon controlled demons to build his palaces. What did Jesus do? He died, okay? Every person's going to die. Nothing lasts forever. Even the demi-urge gods die or they leave the planet, okay? They live for 2,000 to 5,000 years old, okay? When they come to this goddamn it. But I digress again. Um, you can't trust anything. You should not trust nothing. Everything should be based on trade. When someone doesn't give you something, you take something away. This is why I say always test the person that you're with out first. So I brought my wife from Ethiopia. I thought she was mature. I thought she was had it together. I made videos. I thought she saw my magic. I don't know what was going through her head, but she believed in Jesus. I said, okay, I'm, I'm Jesus too. Okay, I'm like, I don't got no sins. And so she got a little dilemma there. She can't come out of that box. Okay. She can't fathom that there's another man with no sins in this world. There's some people who believe in this delusion to think that there are people in this world. We are all born in sins. That's delusional thinking, to think that people are born in sin. What kind of construct is this? Who the fuck said, who told you that? But anyway, I digress here. Um, we are not born in sin. We are born in experience. Okay, God created an experience of chaos. He can create anything he wants. I am God. You are God. This fucking phone is God. This message is from God because you are God too. Hello? Didn't you get the hint? Did you get the hint, motherfucker? Did you get the message? You came here, remember? You may not remember all the details where you came from but that's not necessary because you supposed to use enough common sense to recognize it in the first place but you didn't did you you didn't get the con you didn't get the message of this world you didn't understand but to each his own you don't trust anyone always test people out and you'll be safe. Trial and error is not necessary because when you suffer, you learn from the mistakes that you made and you correct them. That is called common sense through trial and error. But most of you do not have this because most of you are too wrapped up into the social construct of the world. You are sheep to slaughter. As a matter of fact, I love food like this on the other side. I know who I am on the other side. I'm a soul devourer. Most of you are food. You're food to me because you think of material, superficial constructs, the flesh. You're thinking about how much someone has. You're not supposed to do that. But since I'm a watcher in this world and I have nothing to do with anything because of the fact that you all don't like to listen. You go ahead and keep listening to all the other shit out there that's out there wasting your time. But I made my point very clear. So I'll post it in the comment section. Um, I'll post it in the title <clears> of <throat> what this video is about. It's a special video on why mature women choose the bad boys and why mature women choose the good guys. But even if you choose and you find a mature female, she better fit you like fit like a glove. She better fit like the glove. There should be blood spilled, okay? Cherries popped, okay? <laughs> but you still can't trust it because you'll never know when someone stab you in the back because of jealousy, okay? Or because of something else, regardless. I'm out of here. This should, uh, this should God hit him real pill, okay? Out. I love you all, but I hate the many of you. But... Guess what? I'm not...
I hope y'all having a good year this year. We got the Russian thing going on, okay? Because my magic is working like crazy wonders. We all going to have War, War 3. <laughs> Boom! Or well, Asteroid is going to smash this very soon. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to be it today. Yeehaw! Okay. Y'all niggas and crackers are everywhere. And Spicks and Hermenix and in the <laughs> I'm a comedian. Don't you write tape everything I say transcript and say I'm a serious. I'm a fool, okay, but I'm funny and I'm everything you can possibly can't even put your finger on. But you ain't putting no finger on me, okay? <laughs> I'm a goddamn asshole to assholes. I'm a troll to the trolls of masses. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> I love you all, but I hate to meet you. And you know, you know where to find me on Twitch, because I'll be on Twitch. I didn't go on Twitch tonight, though, but I'll, go, I'll be on Twitch tonight. But I didn't, I didn't go on Twitch yesterday night, okay, because I was sleepy, because it was a full moon. Oh, my goodness, so many things happened on the full moon. But anyway, I love you all, but I hate the many of you. But I love the animals more than humans, so, but I don't fuck the animals. Don't fuck the animals. Okay? Peace.